All right, guys, we're not going to make this a very long video. The whole point of this video is to show a motor swap. If you want to swap the motors, if something happened to one of your Evolve motors and you want to go ahead and replace it with something like this Race Star motor here, the 140 kV, which is a good swap for it, this is how you would do it. Now, it so happened that today I ate a belt and uh, it looked like my pulley wasn't lined up and all that and so when i stopped and inspected it sure enough this was cracked in half this is what happens due to road vibration you get you get all sorts of breakage because this is pot metal again just like the base plate that i had replaced cheap pot metal cannot withstand the road vibration that's all now there's eight if you still have your original grip tape, as you can see, I put a temporary grip tape on here for now because this is coming right back off because I need to use this top as a form for my DIY board. But if you have that stock grip tape, there are eight screws here that you may not see. Take those eight screws out. This lid comes off just like that. Inside you have your battery. Both motors have a wire harness that come off of them that pull through here now you can see I've hot glued mine in to seal it and I also hot glue my wires down I took that little nut or that nylon washer hold down they had off and I just put a little bit of hot glue push that down and it stuck real real nice but they feed through these holes here this side through there that side through there then it comes through inside into here now see all this hot glue guys I use this because I had a lot of trouble with road vibration again the clips were coming loose so as an extra precaution I made sure that I glued everything and it's all in place you have to be very careful with the hot glue gun if you do decide to do this if you get hot glue on your board, you got to be careful when you pick it off because you can pick part of the board off. So see this here, I wouldn't pick that off. You try not to even get it on the circuit board itself. So be very, very careful when you do that. And also, use a low setting because these tiny wires here, these can melt and they can touch each other and you don't want that to happen. So just in case you try that, you have to be very careful with the hot glue. But this keeps all the wires in place so nothing vibrates loose. And this is it. You feed it in through the hole. There's a battery plug and then there's a censored plug right here. As you can see there and there. And that's it. Two plugs. Unplug it. Put this one in. Plug the new one in and you're done. That's it for today.